What's up everybody, this is GamerCJE, welcome back to City Skylines. Today we're back here in Stockton, and we have these three big, or I guess two, technically, two big industrial areas, and we have Hilltop Village here, a little population center that is providing workers in this area, and I think it's time to extend our development here in Hilltop Village and increase the population, so I think my vision is that eventually this right here is going to end up going from low density to high density and then we're going to build out in this area more low density so since this is basically just like you know um company housing or whatever it's not really but something like that I'm going to just extend it out and continue this grid pattern. Now that we've got all of this uh, built out here, I also connected up um, a road across to this um, industrial district because I realized that the only way for people to get from here to over here in a car before, they would have to drive all the way down here all the way up there and then like that so that would that just wouldn't do so i made this connection right here i also made this into a four lane connecting up to right there and ooh, one thing that i haven't done yet that's going to be a pain is getting rid of all these stoplights anytime you have a two lane road connecting with a four lane road you end up with a bunch of stoplights that don't do anybody any good all right and another thing to check out here let's see okay we have some trash collection up there i think what i'm gonna do also is make a little you know um services depot out here so we're gonna get is this a four lane road whoa yeah i don't want a four lane road i just want this little industry right here and go just gonna go like this and like so i'm gonna get rid of this let's see where our water lines are Ooh. all right i have to i have to put in some water lines here all right, so we've got our water lines put in, and I went ahead and put in a couple uh, recycling centers to take care of our trash up in here. Also, um, I know it's in here somewhere. Postal service. Let's uh, put in the big post office, and then here and there. I guess we'll just do four. Let's do four kind of like this. There's our post offices, and obviously we need to put in um, all the healthcare, fire, police, all that kind of stuff. Hmm. Okay, so I think I'm going to put in a hospital up there, but then I also need to put in maybe one or two uh, health clinics and now fire departments I'm gonna do the same thing we're gonna put in the big fire department and then I'm gonna add in a few of the smaller fire departments here and there and once again, going to do the same thing with police. Going to have police and fire right next to each other on the big ones. And then... There we go. Alright, we've got good coverage on that. Now schools. Elementary schools. High schools. I'm just going to put in two like that. 
Are we low on electricity? No, we aren't. Okay, it was just having some kind of issue there. Okay, so we have fire, schools, police, healthcare, death care, trash. All right, so it's time to get down to getting some zoning done. Okay, so for the most part, I'm going to just plop in some commercial. Like that, we're going heavy handed on the commercial. And then all the rest of this. Going with the low density residential. it'll take a very significant amount of time for this much zoning to fill in but this is all about getting it started and what I'm doing here is I'm going in and replacing the low density that I have here with high density Just about got all of it and uh, the stuff that's outside of this like uh, square ish thing here I am gonna leave that um, low density because the whole point is just to kind of have this interior part be high density residential okay now the other side of this is in order for a bunch of people to want to move in we're going to need to add some parks here and we're going to do the cheaty. It's not really cheaty because they are in the game. But I'm going to just go with the putting in a bunch of bouncy castles or whatever to improve. The leisure, which of course improves the land values, which of course makes it more desirable for folks to move into. Alright. So like I said, it's going to be, this is sort of just a project for the future to let stuff sort of fill in and have a bunch of folks move into our hilltop village. As you can see, we've dipped below 100,000, which was our population we had before. Alright. We are having some traffic issues. Right here. Let's try putting in a roundabout. And see if that helps us. So we at least have movement now. Let's get rid of these stoplights. Excellent. All right. 
right, so people are starting to move in, but they have not moved in quickly at all. And so this area, I kind of decided to not have it hook up to the rail line because our our trains are getting a little bit overwhelmed once they get out here as you can see they're already not uh the game is too slow to unload the amount of trains that i have so adding more trains here is just going to make it worse so instead we're just going to make the traffic worse which is what it is unfortunately there are quite a few places where the i mean the traffic is just sort of getting out of hand a little bit as you can see we're all the way down to 76 percent uh, we spent most of the game in the like mid mid 80s something like that we already have a bunch of issues with uh not having having enough workers for our commercial applications but you know we will eventually because we've got all these people moving in anyway i will be back once we have more people move into this area Alrighty, folks we've had some time for everything to fill in and it's been pretty successful hilltop village now has almost thirty thousand residents as you can see we are getting pretty close to everything being at max level we have some commercial and some residential that's not all the way to level four and or five and three respectively um let's see one thing i noticed while while i was just kind of sitting around waiting for two hours for this to happen was where'd it go Anyway, I forgot what I was trying to trying to say, but it looks like we're starting to have some issues with water and sewer. So let's just real quick. Hmm, I don't think I want to pull any more water out of the river because if I do that, it's already flowing backwards there, as you can see. The river has started to flow backwards because I'm taking too much water out. So we're going to have to go with some water towers. And let's get a little dirt service road coming out over here. I need to make sure I'm far enough away from everything that creates pollution so we don't get any dirty water. I think what I'm going to do is actually come out this direction. We'll do one, oh, I don't want to do those small ones. I want to do the big ones. One, two, three. And then like a little sort of nine by nine just like that there we go and then we may have to bring electricity out here yeah We've got our water towers, so we now don't have to worry about water for a long time. And then we have our advanced water treatment plants. And I'm going to do basically the same thing. I'm going to just kind of come out this direction with another service road. These have to actually be connected to a road. So, two, three, four, 
five, six. And we'll just start with six and we'll see how that goes. But for the moment, that'll be acceptable. So anyway, back to it. Oh, I remember now what I was talking about. It was the schools. Look at this. Capacity. 1,017,000 availability on high school. And only 10 students eligible to go to that many schools. So it is obvious to me I am massively overspending on high school. Look at this. Like, incredible. And it's because all these people have already gone through the education system. So, what I'm going to do is go in here to my budget, schools, and I'm going to decrease my budget by 50%. And then I'm going to go back in here. Oh. What? Did that not change anything? Oh, does it? It might take a second. Huh. Anyway, um, if that comes back to bite me, you know, I'll change it back. But I think that that's going to save our city some money that we don't really need to be spending. Anyway. So Hilltop Village is now in a really good position to send workers to our um, industrial districts. And I did add a little manufacturing sector right here. Uh, I think we may actually be able to add a whole nother row like this. Yeah. As you can see, if you look at our city, our city is pretty healthy looking. Hilltop Village here. There's no uh, bad things going on, at least for the moment. I mean, over here in the older parts of the city, we are having some issues. But if you look at it, like, we are pretty, we're in pretty good shape here. Like, nobody's, there's not, um... Like, huge death waves going on. There's not huge problems with uh, not having enough supplies anymore. In fact, as you can see, the only problem we really have is supplies are backing up here. And there's not a ton that I can do about that. Because the, the trains, <laughs> they're, not, they're not being unloaded by the map quick enough. So all my trains are backing up. I don't really know what to do about that. But anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this, watching me build up Hilltop Village. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to my channel, and join me next time.